Thank you for your interest in dyadic products. This video will demonstrate the wiring and programming necessary to perform four different moves with one of our low-cost servo actuators. The SCN5 has a servo amp built in and starts at $340 for the 50mm stroke. Let's use a 100mm SCN5 for this overview. You will notice that there are two cables protruding from the actuator. The smaller connector is for programming, and the larger connector is for the 24 volt power and I.O. SCN5 actuators use the RP9100 series of power and I.O. cables. We'll talk about other diode products later. The power and I.O. cable has a rectangular connector on one end with two cables coming out of it. The smaller cable is for power to the motor and servo controller, and the larger cable is for control inputs and outputs. The power and I.O. cable is supplied with flying leads for quick wiring to your PLC or terminal blocks. To program from a PC, you need the TB VST programming kit. This kit contains the cables shown here. They're connected as shown with the white wire connecting the blue serial converter to the green connector junction. And the gray wire connecting the connector junction to the actuator. Note that the CN2 connector on the connector junction must be used when programming one actuator. We will now connect some of the inputs and outputs for the servo controller. These connections will be sufficient to allow us to run four moves with basic functionality. Note that 24 volt power is not yet turned on, and we are using a PNP actuator in this example. First, connect the red and black wires from the power cable to the 24 volt and 0 volt. Next, from the I.O. cable, connect the black wire to PC1, the white wire to PC2, the yellow wire to CSTR, the brown wire to ILK, and the blue wire to PFIN. The inputs and outputs can be damaged by wired errors, so check your wiring carefully and go ahead to apply 24 volt power. We will also turn the ILK signal on to enable motion. To program the actuator, run the TBVST software. Choose the appropriate COM port and click Set. The software will search for connected actuators and open up to the main screen. We will now home the actuator manually by clicking on the homing button. You will see that the jog run bar becomes available for manual control of the actuator. Click the position data save window button and answer a no to the teaching question. We can disable this question using the option menu as shown. Now let's proceed to program some positions. Position 0 can be set to move to 0 mm at 400 mm per second. For move 1, we will enter our position of 100 mm. Leave the target speed as is and set a low acceleration value for smooth motion. The moves we just programmed were both absolute, which means that the actuator goes to the same point no matter where it starts. Position 2 will be a relative move of 30 mm in the extension direction. Moves can also use the progress next function, which runs the next motion when the current motion is complete, either immediately or after a timer has elapsed. We'll save this data to the servo controller and program motion 3. This time we'll set up a force controlled move. Reaction force will be in reverse and we'll set a low value of 15% so we can stop it by hand. We'll use high speed for the approach part of the move and set the approach point to about 30 millimeters. Click close to return to the main screen. We'll test those moves in a moment. Some other key screens in the programming software are the file screen. This allows uploads and downloads and provides easy access to factory default settings. Now the setup screen. The top area shows the mechanical characteristics of the actuator. The next section shows the coordinate direction. Note that homing to the reverse end establishes a negative coordinate system. The forward end is positive. Next we have homing and zone settings, speed for force controlled 
news, and ILK preferences. Lastly, we can choose our preferred I.O. mode. Return to the main screen and you will see that it is easy to manually run the moves we have programmed by clicking on the row of white boxes. We can now run the moves we just stored in the servo controller. Each time we want to run a move, we select a move with the PC inputs, wait at least 4 milliseconds, then send a 24 volt pulse to the CSTR input. The CSTR pulse should be at least 4 milliseconds long. To run move 1, simply apply power to PC1 input and send the start pulse. We can see that the actuator makes a move with smooth acceleration and deceleration just like we programmed it to. Also note that the PFIN output comes on to indicate that the position is finished. With PC1 and 2 off, the actuator will run move 0 when we send the start pulse. Move 2 is relative or incremental so that the move starts from the current location and the actuator moves the same distance and direction every time. To select move 3, we combine PC1 and PC2. By wiring PC4 and PC8, we can run up to 16 moves. Move 3 is set to a forced control move, so that it will move at high speed to an approach point and then move slowly until it encounters the target force. The actuator pushes continuously until another move is commanded. In this case, we will command move 0 to bring the actuator back out of force controlled move. Your actuator is now programmed with four moves and each move has been tested. You may close the programming software and disconnect the actuator from the PC. Thank you for your interest in dyadic products. Stay with me and I'll summarize the differences between the SCN5 that we have worked with and other dyadic products. Shown here is an external servo controller along with a sample of the linear and rotary mechanisms that it controls. When preparing I.O. wiring for any dyadic products with an external controller, the RP9120 cable is used. Some of the wire colors in the cable are different, so please consult the SCN SCL manual before wiring. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us at any time. Once again, Mariah Intertech would like to thank you for your interest in our dyadic products and have yourselves a wonderful day.